तो सेमी सुपरवाइज लर्निंग इज जस्ट ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सुपरवाइज लर्निंग इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सुपरवाइज लर्निंग एंड अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग so supervised learning algorithms could be linear regression logistic regression decision tree uh, a random forest or support vector machine unsupervised learning algorithms could be your mostly the clustering algorithms right so how do we combine both these sort of algorithms okay so why are we interested in semi supervised learning well the label data is very expensive to get in many instances so unlevel data is quite cheap and if you are familiar with uh, supervised and unsupervised learning you know that supervised learning is used when your data is labeled and unsupervised learning is used when it's not labeled or unlevelled right it's not labeled that means there is no target variable for unsupervised learning but there is some target variable for supervised learning now getting data which is level which has some level or some target variable uh, value for target variable is quite expensive and sometimes it's not very easy to get such data many times we have uh, you know a, a small portion of level data and there is massive unlevel un, unlevel data so can we use both combine in some way to improve the prediction so that's the idea of using semi supervised learning this is an example so we have a label data so we have got target variable as gender and we have been given the height and weight of individuals so the idea is to predict someone's gender based on his height and weight now three of the data points are level that means for the first three data points we know that in the first data point is male the second one is female the other one is again male so this is level data and level data is easy to use we can use supervised learning algorithms to find out somebody's probability or chances of uh, being a male or female but the last four data points okay these data points are not level data so to say these are unlevel we do not know for sure that whether this is male or female so regression problem it could also be a classification problem and um so unlevel data will expect is expected to improve the classification performance when used along with the level data and as i have already said it's difficult to get level data for many types of problems you know but unlevel data is very much there everywhere right because you you, you go and classify each data manually it takes a lot of time but uh, you you have that uh, you know handy for a, a very small section and you have unlevel data you just can combine both it's used in many areas web mining text mining video mining these are areas where you know you have such uh, you know a, a very significant uses of semi supervised learning algorithms so we will take an example uh, and we'll also see how this can be used well the idea is simple okay let's go back to the data first i showed you and let's see how do how, what is the fundamental um, theory or what is the foundation of semi supervised learning so it's simple so we have you know the first section is the so this first three observations are the super uh, the level data and the last four observations of course in the real world scenario you will have a larger data set not just three or four data points because you know you cannot fit a model to this three four data points you will have obviously more so the idea is that first use the level data and fit an algorithm so we have this level data okay and then fit a supervised learning algorithm and using that algorithm using that trained algorithm try to predict the values of each unlevel data points so for this one 1676 and 77 try to find the predicted value of gender it could be you know male let's say this is predicted value of gender male something and this it could be uh, female this could be again male so build your model train your model using level data and use that to 
predict the value of the target variable for the unlevel data. Okay. Now this data is also now level using the training algorithm. We just train in the level data. Okay. Now this is not accurate. This is accurate. This is accurate, but these are all predicted values. Okay. So what you do in the next step is that you just include them in the level data as if they are level data and they are retrain the algorithm. And you go on doing that till the time you achieve the convergence. We define some convergence criteria and then you uh, use that. And you will see the uh, accuracy or the prediction power of this model is better than the first model that we trained uh, using just the level data. Okay, so the idea is to outperform the, the accuracy of the uh, training algorithm used only for the level data. Okay, so that is the these are the steps to be followed. Okay, so in this example, what you do is that there's this example of classifying document. This semi supervised learning is used uh, quite heavily in classifying documents, classifying web pages. Because you do not know uh, for sure that uh, what the level of this web page is for a number of web pages, so that's used. So we, in the first step, we just use an abbreviation, which is supervised learning algorithm, to model the level data. As I have already said, the first step use the algorithm, supervised learning algorithm, to level to to um, just to you know train the train the model in the level data. And get the model okay you'll get some form of model right you'll get some form of beta plus beta 1x something like that right some supervised form and then use this model the estimated value of these things uh, on the unlevel data okay and find the class probability or the probability of that data point falling into some category right we call that as an expectation step expected probability right using this model and then train um, the, the same Navy's algorithm again by including this expected value or the estimated value of the unlevel data with the level data okay and you keep on repeating this step 2 and step 3 unless we get a convergence okay that's what I explained previously the speed have successfully applied to document classification. So, document classification is a typical uh, problem which can be separately solved using um, supervised and unsupervised learning, but combining both uh, has a better accuracy. So, um, like the attributes could be, you know, it could be some keywords like someone's supervisor is there, PhD topic is there. So it indicates that it's a faculty space, right? It's a professor's web page. Okay, so that's the you know level to be assigned. But it cannot be done for all pages. So many a times the data is unleveled. Okay, so use the supervised class of algorithms to find out the leveling of each pages. The and then you include the unleveled data with the level data and continue retraining the model till the time you find most uh, you know uh, a better accuracy or some sort of convergence status is, is met okay so we'll take another example so this is also called self training so we'll see why it's called self training so here is an example we use some classification algorithm to find out uh, whether it's uh, some sort of a you know uh, it's an astronomical image or it's, it's just a car or something else okay so the, the idea is to classify these images and there are several images given um, so what we do is that these are classified the first two images are level data we know that this is an astronomical this is a you know a image related to astronomy the other one is not and that's well classified and given to us and there are unlevel data also the one below okay so we'll train a model or train algorithm using this level data and using that train model we will find the probability or some sort of a score we'll try to score each unlevel data and then using this score that we have found we'll see 
which one is the most confidently uh, we can classify okay so we were able to classify two out of this you know unlevel data two images we were confidently able to classify and how are, are we sure about the confidence level well we just find out some criteria to to be sure that a particular image has been confidently classified it could be wrong though but the most confident images will be included okay and then you retrain the model again and again you try to find out uh, trying to try to score the unlevel images again and find out the most confident classified image and then put that in the training level data again okay and then you keep on iterating that and you will see the accuracy level will improve over over these iterations okay now one cache or one issue with sort of this sort of doing is that you are giving same importance to your level data uh, as that you are giving to unlevel data right and that's not a good thing because level data is any day a better data than your unlevel data right so when you are retraining your model you should not give equal weight to the unlevel data that you are giving to the level data hence there's it, the weight uh, or more um, weight should be given uh, given to the level data so the weight given in the optimization algorithm should be uh, higher towards level data than towards unlevel data so that would improve the accuracy so uh, there is another popular way in which this is done which is known as code training so the steps are more or less that, uh, like what we have discussed with with using expectation maximization algorithm um, but uh, this slight difference in the way it's done so take an example is take the same example classifying web pages so how you do is that you have several attributes right attribute 1 attribute 2 maybe there are 10 attributes using which you are classifying documents so first build a model for each attribute using available train level data so whatever level data you have you know have as many models as you have the attributes if you have 10 attributes just 10 models train 10 models okay and using this 10 models try using this train model uh, predict the chances or try to you know get the level value or target value for each unlevel data right so you will get 10 values right right for instance you are let's say you are you try to find your you are you are trying to find out the gender that the first example that we discussed right so the 10 models will give different could different different results like the first model gave male the second one again male third one female fourth one male male female uh, female male male now you see that when you use 10 models you found out 10 predictions and the most prediction is that 6 out of the 10 are male and 4 as female so chances are that this could be a male right so you take the highest count okay and consider that as a level data and include that in the training model again so this unlevel data point is now being used as a level data point in the uh, in the second iteration and continue doing that till the time you have this your data you you run out of you know this classification um, so this is called most confidently predicted both now sometimes you will have just five and five right sometimes you have five male and five female so you are not sure which way it is belonging to right um, so in those data points you cannot take okay just where you are confident that you know this is the correct classification include that in the level data points and return the model and keep on doing that and that will improve uh, the model. so that's uh, some basic introduction to what is semi-supervised learning and how this can be used to improve classification and regression problems and can be used in, in solving real-world problems.